What's going on? A rare t-shirt appearance for Brian Power today on the morning wager. Mark Zinno, a man where sleeves are always optional, set to join me right now. Look, yesterday was a bloody one. We are ready to turn it around, though. Mark Zinno, you are focused in on a battle of World Series contenders between the Dodgers and Astros. Astros playing very good baseball. They are short favorites at home over L.A., and you think for a good reason. Yeah, uh, let's uh, I, I can't spend too much time addressing the elephant in the room about the bloodbath that has been the last three days for me. So I just apologize to everybody. Uh, hang on. We'll, we'll turn it around. But uh, and screw you, Craig Kimbrell. Uh, but let's get back to the Houston Astros, uh, because uh, one of the highest scoring teams in baseball at home this year, third highest average, second highest OPS, second highest WRC plus when they play at home. I've told you guys. And, oh, by the way, they're fifth in scoring, uh, run scoring at home uh, this year. But I've told you guys repeatedly, I'll fade any Dodgers starter because I don't think they're all that good. And I think Gavin Stone is a little bit of smoke and mirrors. We get Framber Valdez, uh, who's been slightly better at home than he has been on the road, but he's been pretty consistent across the board. He's going to get touched up a little bit here. But, you know, this is still a spot where I look at the Astros at home as the real key. Um, you know, I know the Dodgers can hit lefties decently well as well, but I, I'm still not getting scared off here uh, by the Astros, who I think right now are playing a much better brand of baseball here. So kind of telling, similar to yesterday when the Mets were a short favorite against Atlanta. You know how that turned out. Um, the Dodgers are short favorite here. I'm sorry, the Astros rather a short favorite here against the Dodgers. So uh, let's run with it. Let's take the Dodgers on the money line here to get a win tonight. The Astros on the money line, just to be clear. That's what I just said, Astros. I, I'm so yes, bad at yes. this right now. <laughs> it's, Framber is the color of your energy, Mark Zinno. No, it's not. I like the play. Smash the like button if you are rolling with Zinno there on the Strohs. It is Fill Your Cart Friday, by the way, on wager talk, at wagertalk.com. We will have more information on that coming up in just a minute. But let me get my half of the double play out of the way. It is going to be the Minnesota Twins laying a half run in the first five. Like the pitching matchup here, guys. Uh Montero for Detroit is on the mound. He's given up five runs in back-to-back -back starts. Then uh, Minnesota he has Lopez on the mound. He's given up two runs or less in four of his last five starts. I like the setup, too, coming into the series opener for the Twins, okay? They had yesterday off while the Tigers were in Cleveland. The Tigers uh, are returning from a, a long road trip uh, that started uh, right uh, as soon as the second half commenced. So I think it sets up well for the Minnesota Twins. If you checked out first pitch on Wednesday with Zinno and I, I said the Twins are the best team in the AL Central and very live to win that division. As a matter of fact, I would put them uh, on a pedestal above both the Guardians and the Royals. So Minnesota Twins, first five, laying half a run. That's first five run line is my half double play to go along with Mark Zinno on the Astros. Now, I mentioned earlier, it is Fill Your Cart Friday. That means you can take 25% off anything. Daily packages, all access uh, passes as well. Uh, you need the you do need to use the coupon code. Game on 25, as you see right there on the screen. All right, show best bet time. Don't forget to comment with your best bets for MLB on Friday. Uh, and Mark, we are taking a look at an over in a game between two teams. Well, that really screwed us yesterday. San Diego and Baltimore. You mentioned what happened with Kimbrell and Baltimore. San Diego, they put runs on the board early and then just stopped scoring. We're going to take run. We're going to go the over with the Padres and the Orioles. Here, the Padres, they put runs on the board on the road. Baltimore, one of the highest scoring teams in baseball. I know they didn't necessarily show it against the Marlins uh, until the first couple innings yesterday, <laughs> but uh, we like the over here, and that's going to be our show best bet. Sure. Why not? I highly suggest you guys do the opposite like George Costanza, but neither here nor there. <laughs> uh, let's look at the starters here for the game here. Adam Mazur for San Diego has got a 7.84 ERA and a 1.84 whip. Um, again, he's only made a couple of starts this year, five of them, so he's brand new to the bigs. But again, other than his first start, he's given up at least three runs in every start that he's made. Orioles are a, a high-scoring team everywhere, and clearly their lineup you know, which is hitting the skids as of late. You have to hope they can snap back into it when they get home here on Friday night, hence why they're such a heavy favorite. But Grayson Rodriguez is on the mound. I know we all kind of default to Grayson Rodriguez after Corbin Burns is the Orioles, you know, ace number two here. He's 12-4 and four on the year. But his ERA is 3.83. Uh, and he, although he strikes out a lot of guys, which is good, um, he still can get touched up a bunch here. So 
That ERA touching near four and a whip of 1.2 doesn't exactly scream mow him down. What it screams is he can he can be had. Part of the reason he's 12 and four is because he gets 6.2 runs of support per start. So the Orioles tend to hit for him whenever he's on the mound. We don't need San Diego to do much here. Um, I, I really think that it's a matter of if they get to three, maybe four, that should be more than enough to clear nine. We're getting into double digits in this thing here. So uh, I'll trust the bats. I'll trust the starters. San Diego Padres, by the way, one of the highest scoring teams on the road this year. They're clearly much better away from Petco Park than they are at home. So a uh, bunch of runs being scored tonight. San Diego, Baltimore, over nine. All right. Smash that like button. If you agree on that show, best bet, you're expecting runs in Padres Orioles. Also, do not forget to click the subscribe button if you already haven't done so. Wager Talk TV's got you covered every day with a ton of exclusive sports betting content here in the Morning Wager. We're Monday through Friday giving you three free plays every day. Mark Zeno, I would ask if you have anything else to add, but that's well, stare. Well, you should yeah, it looks you like should. you're staring a hole through a wall, and, and I'm very scared to ask, actually, if you have anything else to add. Mark, Mark, do you have anything constructive to add? The answer is no. Do I have anything to add? Yeah, I have a lot to add. I, I, I okay. The sport that I grew up loving and playing and still play to this day, I now despise. I, 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 I equate <laughs> baseball to a catheter. Uh, I equate baseball to getting your corneas removed. I equate baseball to waxing your genitals. I equate baseball to anything that you can find remotely just displeasing in life. I equate baseball to having multiple ex-wives. I equate baseball to, well, the American political system. I equate baseball to Andy Dufresne calling through 500 yards of a sewer pipe in you-know-what and not coming out clean on the other side, getting stuck in that sewer pipe. Is there anything else you'd like me to add, Brian Power? If you'd like me to ask me if there's anything else I'd like to add, you probably should be more specific in the future. I think you're a beautiful man. Make no mistake about it, Mark Zitto. And you can find him at wt.fuzz slash mz. Remember, is fill your cart Friday uh, at wagertalk.com. 25% off. Oh, no, stop it. Stop it. filled with a whole lot of food. That is it. Look, folks, <laughs> again, I buried the lead. I'm over my last bleep in seven. I don't know what to tell you. I, I just, it sucks. It, it sucks. It, everything sucks. So there we go. Can, can, can I offer you the Patty Johnson jingle, or do you not even want that no, anymore? No, I'm divorcing Patty Johnson, okay? Because she, yeah, I'm divorcing. <laughs> She's out. I'm on to the next. She's well. Slob. That's, there we go. That's what I'm on to. I'd, I'd rather be one grimace. All right. On that note, Mark Zitto. Ryan Power. Everybody, have a great weekend. This has been the Morning Wager. Sloppy, sloppy parlay. Feels so good, so great. When Zeno, it's a good day. He's never no, late. Never right either.